Hi everyone. Donald Trump held the Miss California press conference today and this is what he said. Kerry will remain Miss California. Very important. Yeah. She, when the paparazzi claps, you know that was a popular decision. I've never heard the paparazzi clap before. Regarding the pictures, Trump's response was interesting. He said, this is the 21st century and the pictures they felt were acceptable. So therefore, Miss Prejean would not be punished for taking them. On the matter of her contract, Trump said that pictures like this are taken all the time and that you don't track every picture that's taken of you. But also, I think you have to go back to what he said initially in that he doesn't feel the pictures were inappropriate. So everything else in his logic falls from that point. This is what Carrie Prejean had to say. Three weeks ago, I was asked a politically charged question with a hidden personal agenda. I answered my question honestly and sincerely from my heart. I was very careful to articulate in saying that I did not want to offend anybody. And I think that's what's missing from all this. Prejean said she didn't want to offend anyone. But what's happened in this discussion from the perspective of a person who does support gay marriage but who is staunchly heterosexual and who's had experiences with women who claim to be lesbian yet slept with me and then married men is that the real discussion is batted down or ignored by those who want to say, look, you've got to believe exactly as I do with nothing in between. It's got to be my way or I will demonize you. What's happening is that right now we have five states where gay marriage is legal. And that list is going to increase as time goes on. But as it does, you have people who are going to ask the question, what does it mean to be in a relationship? And again, that's going to be the wrong question. The real question in all of this is, does a person have a civil right to marry whoever they want? Doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman. That's the real question. And as far as I'm concerned, the answer is yes, because you can't support gay marriage and traditional marriage and not support that idea. But somehow the discussion's been erased, and I think the reason is that years ago, the idea advanced is that if you were gay, you had a genetic predisposition, and that idea allowed those who were gay and activists to try to align themselves with those who are African American by saying, hey, look, we have a genetic predisposition just like you do in terms of color. It was wrong-headed, but that's what's happened. And since we've come down that path over so many years, it's gotten us away from the real issue of a person's civil right to be who they want to be at any particular point in time. Will we ever get to that? I don't know. But at any rate, this chapter is over. Well, sort of. There is one issue. Perez Hilton did a great deal of damage to those who advocate for gay marriage because of his behavior. Even today on headline news, he called Miss Prejean ignorant and a simple little woman. Sexist. At any rate, it's not quite over, and it's going to be fascinating to see what plays out from this in the near future.